This is a very basic uh, lesson on uh, using PowerPoint. Um, I want to talk about text and placeholders. So uh, I'm going to click on these slides and each and every one of them has several placeholders. So this is a placeholder for a bulleted list. This is a placeholder for a table. Now there's a great many things that you can do to these placeholders. Think of placeholders as text boxes. Uh, I don't believe you can rotate text boxes, but you can rotate placeholders, which is nice. Um, you can, of course, change the size of them. You can move them, right? You can, uh, when you've got one selected, you've got an entire formatting toolbar dedicated to this, right? So you can change the shape if you wanted to. Um, you can pick a different shape, right? That way. Um, you can, so then all, all of these different shapes are available, of course. You can, of course, fill it with all kinds of different things. Uh, PowerPoint now has uh, an eyedropper feature. So I click on this, and then whatever color I want, I would click on that leaf, and now it's converted that fill to that. Very neat. Wish they'd come up with that with Word for Word as well. That would be nice. You can change the outline. Same choices for outlines. Tons of great little choices, right? Uh, shape effects, of course. So a lot of the same stuff that we see in Word and Excel, of course, are available. So you can you can format this text box in a bunch of different ways. This is the shape. Now this is the text. So you can you can do things to the text inside of your placeholder as well. Again, many of the same options that you had for, and a lot of the same for, uh, options you have for objects in, in PowerPoint are available. You've got the ability to change the size very quickly, very easily. You can also size this way, right? Uh, you have alignment options. So if I go back to home and I have alignment here, I can center this in the text. I can write a line. Okay. I can do all of that. You can change your spacing. You can bullet. You can number. Uh, change your, If you have a lot of stuff in there, you can change your paragraph spacing. So right now I'm focusing on the title, but you can do all of those things, of course, to any placeholder. So in here, if I don't like my line spacing, I would probably just select everything and say, give me more line spacing, right? And you can even change text direction. So many, many things that you can do to a placeholder. And I guess you need to understand that you can do all of these things. So if you're asked to do so, you'll be able to find them very easily. Now the fonts are usually dictated by the, uh, I'm just gonna undo a couple things here. The fonts are usually dictated by the theme that you choose, right? So you'll choose a theme and then that'll change a lot. So my fonts just changed, everything just changed, right? Uh, but of course, you have the ability to to uh, determine uh, what you want in any given slide, in any given placeholder. So if you don't like this font here, you can just come back here and, and then of course change that, right? And if you wanted to apply that somewhere else, you'd be able to take your, remember your format painter, right? So this is a paint sample, and now I can go to the paint store. And if I double click, that will allow me to paint many, many things. So I've just changed that. And now I can change these things if I want to, all right? And then when you're done with the format painter, you would turn it off. Now I wanna talk about these bulleted lists here. Here I have the main item, which is sound, and then I have things within sound. And if I wanna add something to sound, um, I can, um, I could say like birds, right? And when I hit enter, it assumes I want another. If I wanted to go um, uh, up, if I want another, not sound, but something other than sound, like smells, uh, I could promote this way, okay? Or shift tab, they both do the same. So it brings me back to the main level, very, very similar to what we did in Microsoft Word. So here I can say smells, or orders, right? And when I hit enter, it thinks I want the same, but if I want a smaller one, once again, I just tab in, or, um, so shift tab brings you back, and tab, or this is, it's called increase list, it used to be called demote, promote, demote, but anyway, it gives you the same effect here. So smells, um, right, C, and flowers, right, so, you have that ability. I believe there's still an outline view. Let me just check here for outline view. 
yeah, this is your outline view here. And not that popular anymore, but this is where you can create a lot of content very quickly. So you don't have to work from your slide. You can work from here. And the same works here as far as your 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 increase and decrease. So if you want to go up the list, if you, whenever you're ready for a new slide here, you just hit enter and it will give you a new slide, right? So questions and then here I can have answers. And then if I hit enter, it thinks I want a new slide. But if I wanted a new bulleted list, I just type here. Um, uh, answer one and answer two and enter and again if I go shift tab it assumes I want a new slide so that's how you can work in your outline view not very popular anymore most people like to work right inside the slide but I wanted you to know that that exists I'm going to go back to normal view here so understand uh, the bulleted lists, understand the fonts, the fills, all of those things that are available to you. A lot of the things about text that we learned in Microsoft Word still apply here, right? So with this selected, we have all these fonts to choose from. We have all the sizes. You have the ability to grow font by one, shrink font by one. You have change case, right? So if you want to go all uppercase, if you want to capitalize each word only. Uh, here you have the ability to change how much space you have between your letters this is something that if it is in word it's hidden pretty well I, I can't say whether it's in word or not so you see I'm just hovering it showing me how this would look so sometimes you're kind of pressed for space right so you've got all these spacing op uh, options available to you and you can go even deeper here if you wanted so understand that you've got this character spacing and then you've got the old school font menu so if you wanted to strike through, double strike through, superscript. So many, many of the things that we had in Word are still available here. Uh, you have the ability to, of course, clear your formatting, which will bring it back to the default of this slide presentation. You can even change your text direction. That's a little bit weird. But just so you know, you have all those options available. And every once in a while, this is exactly what you're looking for. And for those of you who are getting tested, just understand that you can do all those things. And then this is probably more, uh, <clears throat> a little bit handier, is yeah, your alignment inside of the placeholder. I can see middle becoming very popular. So just to reiterate, um, your pla these are placeholders. And you can delete them, you can move them, you can fill them. Anything you want to do to format the placeholder, you can from inside of here. You have some text options in here, but you also have the ability to affect all of your text right back from the Home tab and using all of these features. So many, many options. It's just a matter of knowing where to look and, uh, and, and how to apply whatever it is you want or whatever the test is asking you to do. One more thing regarding uh, placeholders and text. Uh, if you have a bunch of text such as this, you have the ability to uh, uh, convert this into more than one column if you wanted to. And sometimes that's a logical thing to do. So you can come in here and ask for this to be in two columns. Now, uh, sadly, this isn't uh, the control shift enter that I would use in Word doesn't seem to be working to push that into the next column. So I'm just going to undo. So not quite as handy as the one in Word, but it, it does enable you to take your text and turn it into two columns, into three columns very easily. Uh, you have more columns here, and it just simply asks where, how many columns you would want and what kind of spacing you would like, and you can adjust that whatever way you'd like. And there you go.